you've come to choose some ties for some occasions that you've got to go to. Yes. I understand there's a wedding, a funeral, a Christmas party, which is designed after Christmas mm -hmm. because it's so difficult to get in during Christmas. Four weddings and a funeral. Four weddings. And a funeral. <laughs> um, is there anything else? Oh, yes. And you've now been told you've got to wear a tie for work, haven't you? Yes, yes, I have. So I think we ought to start looking and find what ties would be suitable for you. Okay. All right. So if we start off with, shall we pick the one for the funeral? Because that's the easiest one. Okay. Do you have to wear traditional black for this? Or have you been told you can wear some slightly different colours? So picking them out. We've got okay. this one, which is the purple and black flowers. That still is a traditional funeral tie. If you don't want to go too extravagant, but you don't want to wear plain black. Mm -hmm. We have got, obviously, the plain black one. We've also got a black pencil tie. Or something else that I've seen at several funerals and sold for several funerals. We've got the black with the purple stripes. Mm -hmm. Or the black with the white stripes. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to go for the pencil tie for this event. I want something more formal. All right. Uh, but that's just me. But I do like... Uh, I'm a fan of the, the lilacs and the purples. All right. And anything so traditional. If I pull these off... So really it's between these three, isn't it? Yes. So if I unravel them, and as you can see, it's quite floral. I'll just lay them out for you. It's a long tie, so that you'll get a decent knot. Okay. Just got to have a feel of the quality. This one's more of a silk tie. In fact, I think this one is a silk tie. Yep, yeah, this one's 100% silk. And then you've got this black one, which is a silk tie as well. All of these are actually very long ties, although the, the plain black one is a very wide tie. Mm -hmm. So when you get a decent size knot on this, you're going to shorten the length quite a lot. That's softer. Yeah. It's just my opinion. I find, I find the pattern nice, but a little bit uh, bland in some ways. I mean, it's I like stripes, don't get me wrong, but yeah. I, I like a little bit of colour. So, so as a funeral tie, it looks like yeah. that one could be your well, I think I'm also going to use, obviously, one for the funeral. But I'll use them for probably work as well. Yeah. So I do like black. So we can put this one away because this one was a bit bland. Yeah, I'm going to go for both of these, please. All right. Talking of work, if we look at the work ones next, I'm going to put these to one side. It's not bad, is it? There's 101 ties here. Right. And including one that is 101 Dalmatians. Okay. Right, so talking of work, we'll have a look at the works ties now. This one is an optician's tie. As soon as you're an optometrist yourself, you can see there's quite a lot of intricate detail. Mm -hmm. This one, this is the only tie I've got two of on display. I bought the second one by mistake, but that's what made the 101. So that one is actually called the optometrist, as you can see written on the back. Mm -hmm. I also have eyeballs. That's all your different colour eyeballs. And you can see some of them uh, different shades even on. That's what I like about it. And then we've also got a Gucci tie. Although this isn't an optometrist one, this is actually for a dispensing optician. This is actually the Abdo tie, the Association of British Dispensing Opticians with their crest on. So uh, really, bit as an optometrist, you wouldn't necessarily go for that. Mm, but it's a nice design, though. It is, yes. I like this one. Yeah. It's just a bit too much detail for me. 
Right. A very busy time. Yeah, very busy. Um, I like this. I like how you've got the test chart here. I like the artistic eye impressions there. I do like this, but I think that would look good as some kind of display in the test room. Yeah. Somehow, maybe in some kind of small glass frame. Right, yeah. So I'm going to take that one, that one. This one's nice, but I just think it's not me. So well, it's, uh, it's item specific, isn't it? Because it yeah. is Gucci. And if people believe that I'm just saying it's Gucci, it actually has Gucci on the label to show that it is a Gucci tie. And in fact, on the tab at the back, it has the Gucci crest. So this one I'll put back. Put that one back. You want this one, don't you? So that would be nice as well in display, as well as being worn. And then that one isn't really for you. Yeah, anything to, to spruce the test room up to make it an interesting environment. Now I do have quite a lot of character ties. Are you into Marvel do and like Disney Marvel. and things like that? Because I've got Winnie the Pooh ties, Fantastic Four, cartoon characters, that's Huey, Dewey, Louie, Scrooge McDuck and Mrs. McDuck, um, Batman, Lion King, 101 Dalmatians, Scooby-Doo, Wallace and Gromit, there's another cartoon one, that's Mickey and Minnie with Donald Duck. I've got, um, there's a couple here of the Tasmanian Devil. I'm definitely going to say I'd like to see the Marvel and the DC themed ones, please. I think with, the, with our practice selling the Marvel frames as well, the children are going to like yes, seeing these toys. Do they, did you practice sell the DC frames as well? Because I see a lot Batman. of practices selling Batman and yeah. things like We've that. We've got Superman as well, I believe. So there's your Batman. I mean, you just don't get the same design these days, do you, as it used to be? No. Look at that detail. I like the contrast of blue against red. And the detail of Batman. That's a must. Let's have a look at the Fantastic Four. It's very soft. It's a silk tie. Yes, I'll take that as well. Please. All right. Thank you. Now, this unusual Christmas party that you've got to go to. Mm -hmm. Do you want a Christmas themed tie for that? Yes, please. This one is the one that stands out. Yeah, this one's quite unique. This particular one, Santa's on a desert island and he can see the sleigh coming and he's saying, not all ready. So he's being caught out. <laughs> we have this one, which you've said, this one really stands out. And what does it say on that tie? Merry Christmas to all. And to all shut the hell up. Family guy? Yeah. You're a fan of, fan of family guy? Well, if you look, that's almost me. <laughs> Peter <laughs> very light thin. that is a must for Christmas and actually it's that's a very well. low cost tie as well mm, it's the blue colour as well yeah so we've got two options there so far right, we have some other options here as well this one is a traditional Christmas tie 
This one is a budget Christmas tie. You can see Santa's, although you can see the detail on him, he's a bit of a funny shape, isn't he? Mm. This one is where you get all your family of snowmen. And we also have the Rose of Santa singing the Christmas carols. Another budget one. Ho, 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 ho. I want to compare this one and this one. Both of them toys are a little bit of quality as well. I'll take that one, please. Thank you. I'll sign out to that one. And what about the one that's where Santa's been caught out? No, not for me. Not for you. That's a little bit too traditional. Yeah. It's not really much fun. Ah, what's this one here? Ah, now these. As you know, I've done a video with the Boston Terrier. Mm -hmm. This particular one here is the Terrier Club tie. So this is really for any Terrier. As mine are the Boston Terriers. Mm -hmm. But then this particular one is a Boston Terrier tie. And what you'll notice on this is the different colours. So we've got the black and white traditional, which is what you've seen on my video. My other Boston Terrier is a Brindle, but you also get the red as well. So it's a little bit redder than that. Mm -hmm. You can also get them as a shade in between the two. I like this one. It's informative, but it's just a bit too plain. But I do like this one. It's almost computer generated images of the Boston Terrier there. Which I like. Well, you like my Boston Terriers, don't you? Mm -hmm. One's a good selection. Very good. You want that one as well? Please. I know that I don't have many club ties. This particular one obviously is the Terrier's club tie. The only other club tie I have, really, besides the Abdo one, which I've already shown, is Oldham Athletic. I'm one of the few people that support Oldham Athletic. They're having some trouble times, away. aren't they, Oldham Athletic? They are. They're in the relegation zone at the moment. Look like they might drop out of the Football League if they don't pick their ideas up. Mm -hmm. But I shall still stand by them if they don't. Mm. I've if heard they don't about the protests it. against the ownership. Yeah. Here's something, a little bit of a theme tie. Stand mm. out. It's quite bold. It's a nice silky feel. I don't know if it's silk. It doesn't tell me whether it's silk, but it feels like silk. And this is um, London. Themes of London. There's mm -hmm. the Tower Bridge, Big Ben, Houses of Parliament. Mm -hmm. That's quite nice. Okay. Not too keen on the colour. I'll try to explore more from your blue range. All right. Okay. Yeah, because this is mostly white, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's like a navy blue, isn't it? Not really a fan of navy blue. Well, blues. I've got one which is a nice spotty tie. So that's one. Here's a lighter colour. That's nice. Here's a nice plain one. I don't like the design on that one. So we'll put that one back. Uh, a bit too dark so this one will be too dark but this one has got it's like a, a sheen on it so you have the light and dark combination mm. 
Not too keen on the teardrop effect there. Right. As you can see, ah, this one's just, quite a colourful one. Good quality. Although this is a dark blue, it's also floral. It kind of takes you back to the 90s Art Deco era. I'm going to take that one. All right. Ah, you have a nautical one. Yes. Not too keen on the artwork there. That particular design was very popular in the 1980s. Mm -hmm. Just going to stand up now to reach some of these others. Got some nice colourful ones here. Blue is part of the theme, but they've got a lot of other colours as well. I do like the fine spotty design. I'll take that one please. That one I've just opened up is very dark. When people walk into your work and you're wearing that tie, just the colours alone would brighten their faces. I'm going to take that one. This colour also kind of takes me back to my youth almost. I don't know why. I think it's a familiar happy colour. Like the purple. I think all these colours on there are so bright they would brighten anybody's day. Mm -hmm. Can you see anything on there that you want a closer yes. look at? Or the nice striped lilac? That's lovely. Purple and lilac with the white. Subtle. I think because I wear a lot of white, I think this goes very well. Yeah, the white shirts. Just get rid of some of these. Okay, I'm going to select one more. And then I'm going to give you a little bit of a quiz on two, of them, two or three ties. Now I do like brown when it's mixed with a, a lighter colour. I thought I liked that one, but I'm not too keen on this. To me, that one looks like an older person's tie. Yeah. Can I have a look at that dark red and black one at the back? Yeah. Nice silky feel to it. Mm. I do like that one. Yes, please. Thank you. Right, so you've chosen the ones that you really want. I've got two ties here that are slightly different. This one is all frogs. Ribbit. One of the frogs is a little bit different to the rest. Can you work out which one it is? It should actually be quite easy to do. This one's jumping out on these rows. Is that what I'm looking at? It is, yes, that's, that's the odd one out. Mm -hmm. But as you can see, each row is the same as mm. it goes in sequence, but there's only one frog that's not stood still or sitting still. Interesting. What was the other one? And the other one will help you to go to sleep. Let's count the sheep. They're all jumping the gate. I don't want my patients to fall asleep. No. But one of them is doing it in a different way. Which one is it? Ah. 
That's the BMX nice. bike. Mm -hmm. Now that would certainly get me my eyes turned in if I saw a sheep riding a BMX bike jumping the gates when I was out on the fields. They're good for the fixation test. You could ask your patient to look at the sheep on the bike. Nice. I've spotted one more that I like. Oh, well, it's a grommet. The blue and the orange. Yeah. And the inquisitive expression. That is a must. That is a must. It's the moon really made of cheese. Yes. Is it? Is yeah. It cheddar or red Leicester? Well, I don't know. Ask grommet. Okay. Grommet's eaten some of it. Right. And that one, please. All right. So, I need to know how much that's going to cost me then. It's going to cost you your arm and your leg. Okay. Have you got a saw? <laughs> a chainsaw? And Let's make it quick. Please. Oh no. That will cost more. Okay. I'm just moving these away so that we can look at what toys you've got. Well, you've never looked at the 101 Dalmatians. I'm not really a fan of that. Can you see which which puppy that one is? No, Zay. No. Look at the spots on the back. It was called Lucky. Ah, oh, right, OK. Because of the horseshoe. Ah, oh, right. Okay. That's an interesting fact. Some of these toys are very inexpensive, but some of the others are quite high demand and high priced, I'm afraid. Which has been your most popular one that I've picked? I would say this one, the Christmas toy. Photographies. There's, yeah, there's a lot of people only wear a toy at Christmas. They don't wear a toy any other time. But in saying that, most of the Christmas toys don't cost a lot at all. Because the reason they pick most of the Christmas toys is because they're so low in cost. Right, because some of these are silk, now the optometrist tie is five pound. The eyeball one is fifteen pounds, so there's twenty. This one isn't too expensive. This one is at three ninety nine, so that's nine. Well, I'm rounding it off to the nearest pound at the moment, so that's nineteen. This particular one, your your funeral tie is two pound, so that's twenty pound for them. Twenty one. Pardon? Twenty one. Sorry, twenty one pound. This one is £20, I'm afraid. The character ones, so your Batman and that one as well, they're at £20 each. So there's 81 This particular Christmas tie and this one are a pound each. So that's 83 That one's at two pounds, so that's eighty-five. This one is a five pound tie. That one's a three pound tie. This one, even though it's family guy, is only three pounds. This one, because it's a club tie, is fifteen pound. And that one's two pound. All right. About looking about one hundred and thirteen. Did you say fifteen for this one? Yeah. Okay. Um, but I'm sure because you've got so many, I can do you a deal on them, and we'll just round it off straight down one hundred pounds in total. Hundred pound, not hundred and ten. Go for yeah. hundred. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. All right. So um, you'll bag them up and then take I will. them to the checkouts. Yes, and if you want, if you don't want to wait for them, I can deliver them to you. I'll deliver them to your practice as soon as you're only down the road. Okay, that's fine. 
All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much.